Hello, YouTube. Long time no see. I guess I kind of told myself that I wasn't going to record another YouTube video until I could shave my facial hair off because, um, I looked like a pedophile and it was disgusting. Let's talk. I hope my camera stays where it is while I drive. I think, um, I think the reason I'm making this video is because I wanted to open up and be honest with you guys about the past couple weeks and months of my life. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I've been in the right mental space to make YouTube videos or really be on camera. Uh, I'd say the past three weeks I've made decisions that, that really messed with my head and um, I did some things that I regret and I also did some things that I don't regret. I mean, that's life. Um, but the title of this video is I'm 22, shouldn't I have life figured out? Which I really think is an interesting question because I'm 22, almost 23. In fact, it's now November 3rd and it's officially my birthday month. I turned 23 this month, November 27th. And I don't know why, but the past few weeks have been so overwhelming in regards to financial decisions, next chapter of life decisions, and surrounding myself with the right people. I got some really good advice from one of my best friends who told me that, they kind of slapped me in the face and said, yo, you're not supposed to have life figured out at 22. It's not supposed to be, you know, berries and cream. It's just not, because I'm still so young, and I, I fail to realize that. And instead of stepping back and looking at the big picture of my life and where I'm at and counting my blessings, I was focusing on the things that I didn't have. And I was focusing on all of the, the negative things surrounding me. And I think that's what set me back recently. So I wanna apologize to myself, uh, my family, my YouTube subscribers, and to all my friends, because I just haven't been the person that I need to be lately. So, I had a big mental breakdown a couple days ago. First one in a long time. And it was euphoric. You know, sometimes you just need to cry. And it was okay. And I'm better now. And I'm glad that I am where I am. I'm gonna continue working hard. As some of you may know, I do DoorDash full time. I worked almost, I worked almost 10 hours yesterday, I think. And that's where I'm at. I'm just trying to save up money for a lot of plans that I have in the near future. And yeah, I've been working out. I'm on my way to the gym right now. In fact, I need to bust open this rain energy drink. Um, rain. If you guys could hit me up, let's talk business. I messaged you on Twitter, but you guys didn't seem to have any interest, so maybe you'll see this for some reason. But today's video, I'm just gonna talk to you guys, just because I want to. And I'm gonna make it how I wanna make it. And yeah, I know it's not the one million dollar puzzle, and it's not golfing, and it, it might not involve my, my brother or any of my friends, and it's not Halloween themed. But this is the video that I need to make right now. And that's where we're at. I'm also driving and holding on to the camera, which is very dangerous. Don't drive and vlog, guys. I wanted to open up and be truthful and honest with you. So for those of you that said you're waiting for the video, thank you. I appreciate your patience and I appreciate your kindness. So I... I'm about to uh, have a very large leg day with my friend Nick and Austin. Hopefully they're here. It's 8.50, we said we were meeting at nine. So let's hope they keep, they keep that promise. One person that's really helped me lately is my friend Scoobs, AKA Murphy, AKA Scooby. Uh, if you guys didn't know, he's got a little bit of a, a butt problem. He has like a tail pocket that's kind of messed up. And my guy is going in for surgery on Friday to get fixed. So thoughts and prayers go out to my, my pal Murph. He's a thick boy. 
because he's an English bulldog, sometimes they have a harder time getting out of anesthesia or like waking up from their 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 sleep. So there's a chance that Murphy might not wake up, but he's an absolute stallion, so I know that he will wake up. Nonetheless, prayers and thoughts for, for Scoobs when he goes into surgery this Friday morning. As for me, I just got home from my workout, and I do the same thing every day. I, I work out, and then I do DoorDash during the day, because it allows me to make money to pay for bills and prepare myself for adulthood. Don't, don't you just love that? Just love being an adult. All right, I got a shower and I got to get to work. So thank you for the, watching this little mini like kind of update. I might record a little bit later tonight if anything cool happens, but my brother and sister are busy. They're doing musical right now at their high school. And we have that this weekend. So I'll probably vlog a little bit of that this weekend. And it's my sister's birthday and we're gonna go out with grandparents. So I'm gonna document that with the vlog. Scoops, what are you doing brother? So I just got back from working all day, uh, made like $107 doing DoorDash, and now I get greeted with Scooby when I come home. Oh, and he's so excited to see me. <laughs> yeah. You excited, Murphy? Yeah, you wanna be on camera? You wanna be on camera? You're going nuts, brother. Oh my gosh. He's so pumped. This dog is crazy. What? What, Murphy? <laughs> what? He's like, what is that? Oh, he doesn't like the camera. So it's the first Wednesday of the month, and I just texted my family's uh, iMessage group chat, and we all decided that we're going to go to uh, our, our church service for the, the first Wednesday of the month. They have a... Uh, they have an actual service with um, worship and message. And I think that's really going to help with my mental health. I, I don't know, guys. I, how are you? How are you doing? Check in with me. Write down in the comments how you are. And let me know. And if you ever feel alone, like, reach out to me on Instagram or, or Snapchat. Add me. It's Bailey B. Harper on everything. Um, I'm always here to talk. I've talked to so many people. Um, that I've already reached out on like Instagram and Snapchat. I always try to respond. So <sighs> I'm going to treat myself with a cookie because, because I worked hard today. And my friend Addie, shout out Addie, shout out uh, her, her baking skills. I don't know if she's actually going to watch this video or not, but she makes really good cookies. If you're still here, how do you feel about yourself? You just watched a man eat a cookie in silence for like 30 seconds. That's weird. I gotta go give Scoob some love. I'm gonna spend tonight with my family. And I'm gonna rest. Because I need it. I appreciate and love every single one of you. I'm gonna go back to making vlogs as much as possible. Because I've been slacking. But... You can always hop back on the train. So I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.